Hey everybody, welcome back to Bag Max I. And today I'm using my phone to film. And what today's video is, is has a terrible sentence. Oh my god. So today I'm gonna do an overview of my newly updated mineral collection. As you can see, here's a brief sweep, but I'm gonna go through each and talk about like what they're made of and just the science of all of them. So this is called Tiger's Eye, and it's a type of silicon dioxide with iron oxide impurities. And as you can see, it's got a cool um, like optical effect here, and that's just caused uh, by the, the crystals. All right, that's a shitty uh, explanation, but next we got, it's called Titanium Quartz, I think. And uh, how this is formed is there's just this quartz in nature, and then uh, the titanium cations are just naturally attracted to the electrostatic forces of quartz. Uh, the only other thing I know is that uh, you can do this industrially by putting the quartz in a vacuum and then depositing uh, titanium vapor onto the crystal. So that might be the way they did it for this one too, but this is also iridescent a little. Okay, next is hematite. So this is Fe203. Oh, by the way, that's SiO2 as well with some titanium cations on top, or titanium metal. Uh, this is hematite. This is fibrous crystals of Fe203. And um, I don't know, this, this hematite sample really stood out when I, I got this in Seattle. And uh, the fact that it's like globular just reminded me of like lava rock sorta, but in reality, it's just, it's just rust. All right, next is carborundum or AKA silicon carbide with a chemical formula of S I C. Yeah, silicon carbide. And it's the hardest of my mineral collection. And it's also iridescent. So yeah, I really like iridescent things. Here, holding it up to the light, it's pretty nice. Next, we got this copper sulfate mineral. And I think its name is chalcanthite. Yeah, chalcanthite. So that comes from chalc meaning copper and anthite meaning flower I think in Greek and so the way that this forms is there's this is actually a copper ore and if you look very closely you can see yellow bits and of course if there's copper ore and sulfur uh, very close to each other they're gonna form a salt if there's uh, any water nearby so this is really nice this one is one of my favorites because of the color and also the rarity Next is simple quartz, and um, this is one of my first minerals I collected, so yeah, that's about it for this one. Next, this is called aragonite, or aragonite, I think it's the first pronunciation. And this is actually a crystalline form of calcium carbonate, but this has iron impurities, so that's why it's red. But I just thought, like, wow, this is, this is made of the same stuff as um, seashells, so that's pretty cool. Alright, next, this is just a piece of aluminum that I've melted down in my home furnace. So uh, I, I just like it on my desk. Next is a piece of bismuth metal. And fun fact, this is the heaviest non-radioactive element on the periodic table. Yeah. And this one also has an iridescence to it. All right, next is a piece of limestone, actually, a very thin piece of limestone. And it has deposits of manganese dioxide on them. So that's how you can see there's this brown and then this black. So this is called dendrite. and Dendrite can form on uh, many minerals just because it's just a mineral solution with manganese or iron dissolved into the solution and then it trickles through uh, like macro fissures in the in the mineral. And so as you can see here, this is this is just one of those examples and it was on limestone. So I really like this one too and it's got it on the back. So this is a cool phenomenon. Next is my two samples of pyrite. This is iron sulfide. And um, here is the cubic like structure or example of the mineral. This is FES2, and uh, it's also known as fool's gold, and this is one of my oldest uh, pieces as well. And next is the azurite malachite uh, growing on top of a copper ore, and you can see that there's copper underneath the, the malachite like globs, over here, let me show you. Okay. Right there. So as you can see, there's a tiny bit of red. So what I think happened is just the surface of copper 
the surface of the copper got oxidized and mixed with water and carbon dioxide to form the copper carbonate hydroxide that is uh, malachite. Next is silicon, the metalloid. And this is a very nice sample because it's just pure and I got it from an element collector and I don't know, it's so light, it's way lighter than I thought. All right, next is this selenite rose or gypsum rose. And so that's calcium sulfate. This forms uh, in deserts and stuff when water evaporates, like in old seabeds. All right, finally is my sodium metal. Oh, and I can't forget the, the tin metal here. This is pure tin, or as pure as I could find. And this was half an ounce, but um, I used it to make bronze a while ago. I hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, I'll do a face reveal uh, when I get to 100,000 views. Oh shit. That's right now!